Welcome back to the channel everyone. Today we're talking about an upcoming game that I am very excited for, and that is as Witchfire. Over the last few weeks a bunch of information was published about the game. Some gameplay features weapons, magic skill trees, and even early access on Epic Games. Even though, I would not consider buying on Epic Games Store. So I have plenty to talk about the game today. Let's get into the topic. If it's your first time here then hit that like button and if you got valuable information from this video then subscribe for more upcoming contents on this channel. Now, Witchfire is a dark fantasy first-person shooter, like Old Wolfenstein, Doom 2016, Doom Eternal, Metal Hellsinger, or the recent launch of Warhammer 40k Bolt Gun games. I am a fan of Warhammer 40k franchise, especially 40k Bolt Gun. While still using pixelated graphics, this game is beautiful for old-style fast-paced movement shooter, in addition to having airtight controls. If you like Unreal Tournament, The Quake 1 and 2, or Painkiller Sarai's Return to Castle Wolfenstein. Back in days, this game is a must-have. Boltgun has so much heart and effort put into it than most high-budget AAA studio games have these days. Leaves a big grin on my face as both a Warhammer fan and a shooter fan. Now, The Witchfire is developed by the Poland-based studio The Astronauts, having only 12-person studio previously worked on The Vanishing of Ethan Carter, Painkiller, and the Bulletstorm series. Which Fire is their new IP and it's heading into early access on Epic Games on for 40 bucks. One crucial piece of information is the intended release on Steam after a year of early access, demonstrating substantial advancements in the game's development. Furthermore, they have future plans to expand onto console platforms once the game reaches its final stage. The game starts off fun but frustrating, similar to a typical fast-paced movement shooter. However, instead of grinding to become more powerful, the game makes enemies stronger as you level up. There are also more traps, roadblocks, and a final event called Calamity. During Calamity, you must either run to a specific location or kill 16 demons. But one hit will kill you and you have to start over. Which fire features two maps at early access, apparently each map is about the same size. These maps can be truly amazing as long as they remember to incorporate captivating secret puzzles interesting events, and encounters across the linear open world. The core gameplay loop called Expeditions, where you explore the world beyond your hideout. The weapons in the game are underpowered compared to the enemies. They have a short effective range and enemies can hit with precision from far away. Healing is limited with elixirs only restoring half of your health, hunting down enemies, gathering loot rewards and experience. Once completed, you can return back to your hideout, further upgrading your skills and weapons within the safety of your hideout. The gunplay in this game is undeniably thrilling, as you can freely move around the linear open world. Witchfire feels like stepping back into classic shooter games, where aiming down sights is irrelevant and there are no disadvantages to hip firing, which only increases the excitement factor. Progressing in the game involves improving your guns, with each individual weapon having its own attunement that can be upgraded to reveal enhanced characteristics. A perfect manifestation of this concept lies within the hand cannon known as Hunger. Attaining critical hits becomes increasingly impactful as you advance through each level of its attunement. Nowadays, most magic spells found within the game center around one of the primary four elemental forces which consist of burning, shocking, freezing, and decay. The intriguing aspect of this game is that the each elements can be combined with one another. For instance, you can apply a decay spell on an enemy causing them to bleed and lose health, then follow up by shooting them with a shock weapon, effectively combining two elements. As a result, each tick of damage becomes even more impactful. This gives you freedom to mix and match all four elements however you want to. Opens up a ton of build crafting opportunities which is part of the game. In summary, Witchfire is not the cool FPS game with powerful weapons, RPG elements, and an elaborate story that some people expect. It is more similar to Doom 2016 with weak weapons and constant challenges. The graphics, however, are highly praised. Witchfire is a game that initially provides enjoyment but quickly becomes difficult. Overall, I am skeptical about the amount and replayability of the content. This will likely determine whether or not the game can maintain a strong player base until its full release, something I genuinely wish for. Subscribe to the channel so you don't miss my future videos covering it. Thank you very much for watching and have a great day. Peace out.